Hi guys, I'm back again with another live video um, because I can't be bothered recording it and uploading it, <laughs> basically. Um, hopefully the frame rate's okay. I think this camera's playing up a bit, but anyway. Um, what I wanted to show you today is a new project I'm going to start, which is back on the orcs. So those guys, those of you who um, joined me for, for the orc content, you're getting a bit more again. So uh, that's something to be thankful for. Now, what this is, is it's sort of my own interpretation of a squigoth. Um, I'm not sure whether the size is right, I need to do a bit more investigation into that, but uh, I'm going to show you what I'm using as my sort of start-off um, figure, as it were, for the whole project. And this is it. So this is Triceratops from Tamiya. Uh, it's a fairly big size, as you'll see in a moment. Just take that off. Um, as you can see, I mean that, if you look at my hand, is a fairly big size. And the plan is, if I just place this together, just to show you why, um, you see how thin that is. It's a fairly thin model. Now, what I'm hoping to do is basically this. So I'm going to separate it like that, and down the top here where you'll see a gap, and across the bottom, I'm going to put armor plating, and of course, this is where the top is where the um, where the orcs will sit. So there'll be armor plating all across the top there, um, and then I'll I'll do something to the tail to make it get thinner. Probably chop it off on both sides, and then there'll be armor plating that comes down the legs and down the side here, and maybe some straps that come under the uh, the belly. So that's basically the plan for the body. It will be a lot wider, sort of that wide, which I think will look fairly cool. Now, you're thinking, what's he going to do about the head to make that look more uh, squigothy? Well, if I just show you one of these, it's not going to focus unfortunately, but there's a lot of detail on there, um, and that is one side of the head. So you put two bits together, like that, and that's basically what you're what you're playing with. Now, if I can just hold these together, I can show you. You see that there? That's a fairly thin face. Sorry that it's out of, it's out of focus. Um, it's a fairly thin face, but if you do that with armor plates down the middle of it, that's going to look really cool. So, what that's going to do is you're going to end up with much wider face with armor down the middle um, it opens up space for there to be teeth across the top there and whatever I do to the front here to bridge the gap there's going to be space for teeth across across the front there and um, that's going to add a lot to it it's going to make it look a lot more sort of squigothy as it were so that's the plan there now there's horns in here and all sorts so that's basically it. I mean this was only, this was less than a tenner I think, so fairly good quality. Um, but there are some challenges as you can see, so I'm going to need to put plates down the center of the head and down the front. Um, also going to have to put plates down this part here to make it look sort of more orky. Um, there's also the mouth, and I can show you this. So this is how it looks, it's more of a beak on the, uh, the actual Triceratops, but you start sort of bringing it apart like that, and you can see that already it's starting to look like a pretty cool mouth. Um, of course, that will be filled up uh, in the center there. This will all be filled up, and there'll be um, teeth across there. I mean, those actually look like pretty cool tusks that are going on there. So, I might even be able to build the mouth further back with the teeth in it. And then, of course, the face will sit on. If we can get it right. Like that. Um, so I'll probably bring the face back a bit like that. And you can see that there. That gives you an idea, actually, of how it might look when it's finally done. 
like that there of course that'll be will be filled in there there'll be teeth all along the top and the bottom so that's the basic plan um, and this was my introduction video into doing that so as always um, give me a like if you like the video this like if you're not a fan of this new live format that I'm trying to do to save time um, and thank you very much for watching please leave me a comment with any thoughts that you've got towards this any um, any clever ideas, any criticisms of my plans, they're all welcome. So um, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.